It has been nearly 10 years since a Norton Shores gas station employee vanished during a shift at work. Five years later, a jury convicted Jeffrey Willis of murdering Jessica Herringa, despite the fact her body has never been found. 1300 Sites' Charlie Tinker is live in Norton Shores after speaking with the case's original lead investigator, Charlie. Yeah, Kurt Juliet, you got to keep in mind this was a, a massive investigation by a massive number of investigators uh, from just as many different departments all playing a role in this. Michael Kasher was the guy uh, essentially at the center of all of this. He told me this was the biggest case he has handled to date and the unanswered questions bother him still. It's that anchor around your neck every day you woke up. Michael Kasher ended his career in law enforcement several years ago, but says the young mother's case still follows him. I got promoted from or detective sergeant to lieutenant, and that was the only case that I took with me. I truly believe somebody knows something happened. That's then Detective Sergeant Kasher 10 days after the 25-year-old vanished into the night during a shift at work. I thought, oh, we, one of these guys that we thought was involved by the end of the night, by Saturday night, Sunday morning, we're going to have under arrest. As confident as he was in those early days, they would bring Jessica home and put away her abductor. Kasher admits his days turned into months. Slowly but surely, the doubts began to find their way in. And then it just kind of melted away. Three years would go by, bringing hundreds of tips with them until the break in the case that would blow the whole thing wide open. This male told you you couldn't use the phone because it was dead. Yes. The court convicted Jeff Willis of the crime after investigators say he abducted another victim who managed to get free. And if she didn't do what she did, um, I would have to say that she, she'd end up dead somewhere too. Uh, I know there's no doubt in my mind about that. Or that Willis would have killed again. They don't stop. They continue on. And I think we would have had more victims. Absolutely. Her killer behind bars, but lingering thoughts of whether Jessica might still be alive out there somewhere. Is there any, you know, conceivable way in your mind that she is alive and out there somewhere? Um, that's a tough, tough, yeah. tough question to answer because honestly, no. I mean, I, I give no credence to it. There's been no evidence uh, since 2013 when she was last seen. Ten years, he admits, has gone fast, and even in retirement, Kasher said. He still follows the case as best he can. When you have a disappearance like this, I, I, I can't imagine of all the people that have a family member or a friend or a spouse missing and having no answers. The responsibility, we, I, didn't, I didn't close it for them. And um, it's a heartache and it's, it's just a void that you can't, uh, you can't stop. You know, clearly carrying some of that with him as well. Castro did speak to the possibility of a, a confession from uh, Willis, possibly revealing the spot where Jessica's remains may be hidden. Otherwise, that somebody st some simply stumbles upon them and uh, makes a lucky break, holding out to the hope uh, somebody accidentally makes that discovery with the same result, which would be ultimately bringing Jessica home. Live in Norton Shores, Charlie Tinker, 13 on your side.